First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, so we are going to be looking at a little more snow. Um, yeah, some of us are. It's one of these deals where, uh, especially northern New York, but we may see a band that makes it all the way across Vermont. I think there's a decent chance of that, which would be, it would amount to snow squalls here mm -hmm. by the afternoon. So we've got some stuff to watch, and it's going to be helpful to tune in for uh, Caitlin Napoleone tomorrow morning because we're going to have probably a little bit a better handle on exactly when that may or may not happen. I think it is going to happen, and I'll show you why that is in just a minute. Today's Almanac, we topped out at 39 degrees. It was unseasonably warm, which is a little bit strange to say. I know 36, the average high 67. That is the record high. The record low is six below zero for this state. All right, we're in the 30s all over the place in the Champlain Valley. We'll call it 35 in Burlington, 39 degrees. Right now, Plattsburgh, even freezing in Messina, along with Lebanon. Right now, Springfield doing a 31. Wanted to key in on the wind speed and maybe in particularly the wind direction here. It's a south to southwest wind, and with that, that's going to help keep the temperatures up a little bit. Driving back in tonight, oh, about 9 o'clock or so, I saw that uh, we had some flags uh, waving in the breeze. So right in the Champlain Valley, we do have some, I don't want to say substantial wind, but that's the kind of thing that'll keep the temperatures from free falling out there tonight. All right, Storm Tracker, here's the deal. We've got some clouds out there right now. Thought this was interesting. With that south to southwest wind, we have lake effect snow coming off of many of the Great Lakes right now, but note where the lake effect snow is. It's to the north and off to the east. And what'll happen is we're gonna find that picking up around Lake Ontario, and that's why we're gonna find some snow in northern New York and eventually